welcome to Act 3 Theatrics Living Room Theatre. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm Chandran and we are from Act 3 Theatrics. Today we are storytellers and mm -hmm. we have an interesting story. Can you guess what this story is about? I think they need a bit of help with no, the guessing. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, yes, I think so. <laughs> Can you guess what this is? It's a leaf. Absolutely right. So all stories about a leaf. That's right. Um, and actually, it's called dancing leaves. Ooh, mm -hmm. Have you seen uh, leaves dancing? That's very interesting. So just to set up uh, the story, what uh, we did is we went out wearing our masks, of course, and um, disinfecting our hands, mm -hmm. and we gathered a few kinds of leaves that are a bit different. So we'll show you some of the Actually, leaves. We've got quite a lot of leaves over here. Okay, so leaves I'll right? go ahead and show this one. This has got a typical leaf shape. Can you see that? And the leaves are rather big. This leaf is rather big. You think you can use this leaf when it's raining? You can use an umbrella? Uh, I probably need something a little bit bigger oh, than this. Oh, this, this one. You know, this is very interesting because it's the same stalk, but you've got green leaves and this is a bit reddish. Oh, that's Ooh. quite pretty, actually. Yeah. And I've got an interesting leaf here. Well, or leaves. See how the leaves are all like grass, almost like hair, and it's really soft and swishy. Must be. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells really nice too. Yeah, it really yeah. does have a nice smell. Well, these are little, little leaves. Uh, you had one that is one big one. Mm -hmm. See, this one here, it's got this whole lot of tiny leaves together. They look like raindrops, don't they? Oh, yeah. And this is from our own plant, the money plant. So this leaf is kind of yellow. It started out green, but then it turned oh, yellow. Some parts of it are still green. Yeah, green. you have a bit of green here. And this one, yeah, talking about colors, you know, leaves, a lot of leaves turn this color and then they will dive down. What else do we have? This is Ooh. rather nice. This looks like a flower almost. Look at that. Pattern, right? Yeah, it looks like it's got petals. Five petals. So it almost looks like a flower. And this one is a is a long one. You had the one shaped like leaves. This one is like, you know, there's another one that's it's very, very long leaves. So this could yeah. be like octopus tentacles. Do, 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 swimming. What could this be? You have a mustache. <laughs> So, you know, leaves are very special. They, they, they come in different forms, different sizes, different shapes, different colors mm -hmm. even. And they're very important for, to the tree. That's why we just pluck a few. I mean, mm -hmm. we make sure the plants and the trees were not harmed. Mm -hmm. What do they do? What's the most important thing that, about leaves? Well, the first thing that pops into my head is that I think they just make a place look so cozy and comfortable and just really colorful. And they make food, I think, for the, for the trees and the plants. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. the other thing is they also provide us with shade. You know, the shady mm -hmm. trees. I think it's so nice that we live in a garden city. So, you know, on a hot day, just go down, make sure it's not a durian tree. Mm -hmm. And they give us a lot of fresh air too. Yep. They yeah, breathe because it, of them. We breathe in fresh oxygen. It all comes from the leaves. Okay, so um, we want to get ready for the story. This uh, is special because we're not going to just tell you the story. We want you to participate. We want you to be the storytellers too. Would you like that? Yes, Would and you really like dancing that? too. Would you really like that? Yes. Oh, I can't hear you. Would you really like that? Yes. <laughs> so uh, to do that, uh, we have two parts of warm-up. One is a physical warm-up. We'll do a bit of physical warm-up and then we'll do a vocal warm-up. But we'll go to that later. We'll do some physical warm-up, shall we? Okay, we'll start by doing a very gentle warm-up by showing ourselves a little bit of love. Oh. And we do that by patting oh. our heads, patting our heads, patting our heads. Pat, pat, pat. Do you know where your shoulders are? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders, tap, uh, tap, tap. Can I say something? I mean, you can do it in your own way. Like, and you can oh, tap the, it like that if you, if yeah. you, if, you, if, know, you if, want to. If or, you can use your chin to tap your shoulders if you can. I can't, so well, I'm using my hands. Whichever you can do, whatever part you feel like. You okay, okay. but you need to tap, right? So this is shrugging. So we need to um, tap, okay? Like tap. Oh, yeah, okay. maybe. 
and we can also tap our elbows. You know where your elbows are. I already yeah. gave you a bit of a yeah, clue, so. right over <laughs> here, because elbows help your arms to straighten and bend. So everybody, let's tap those elbows. Tap those elbows. Tap those elbows. Tap tap tap. Like what you said earlier, we can also tap them a different way. We can tap Ooh. your elbows. Tap your elbows. Tap your elbows. Tap tap tap. Do you know where your knuckles are? Knuckles here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think those are your knuckles? Oh. Kind of close. The knuckles are here. Ooh. Yes. See, when you make a fist, you can see all these bony bumps there. Those are your knuckles. So let's tap those knuckles. Tap those knuckles. Tap those knuckles. Tap, tap, tap. And what you were pointing to earlier are your wrists. Oh, okay, okay. Shall we? Tap those wrists. Tap those wrists. Tap those wrists. Tap, tap, tap. I can tap your wrists too. Oh, okay. Tap your wrists. Tap your wrists. Tap your wrists. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, very good, very good. Let's shake those arms, shake those arms, shake those arms, shake, shake, shake. Oh, like too. oh yeah, you can shake your head and shake your shoulders, everybody. Uh, shake your upper body. Uh, uh, shake, 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 shake. Oh, Woo. That's very good. So that's physical uh, warm up. Because as, as Amy said, this story has it, got to do with dancing and music. So we have our friends to introduce this part of it. Mm hmm. Yes, and they are none other than your sweetheart and Lin K. Siu. Are you ready, guys? Over to you. Hello. Hi. I'm Neo Sui Lin. And I'm Lim K. Siu. And we are the... Neo Kale Lims. We're going to show you how to play the ukulele today. And ukulele looks like this and it sounds like this. But the ukulele is made of wood. So, there are other ways that it can sound, right, Kiss You? Yes, like this. So, if you don't have a ukulele at home, you can also make the sound with your body. Yeah. Like this. Hey, so fun, right? Yes, yeah, so also, we're going to play you a song on the ukulele. You might hear it later on during the storytelling. The song goes a bit like this. It's so lovely. It sounds like a lullaby, right? Yeah. But I think it's quite difficult for them to follow, Kesu. Oh, yeah. So maybe what we will do next is Kesu will sing it, mm. then I will follow you. Okay. And then you guys follow me. Yes. Okay? So sing with me. Alright? Okay, follow me in. Here we go. some actions maybe it'll be easier for you to follow me oh good so, idea so i'll put my ukulele down yes. and let's try okay here we go it's a lullaby mm. Wonderful. 
You think that's enough? I think we're ready to start our story, right, Amy? Yeah. Oh, she wants to see what the ukulele looks like. Okay. Thanks. Look at this. Ooh. It's quite small, actually. Let me see if I can strum a few tunes. I don't know how to play the ukulele. No, but what you can do is you are a good storyteller. Thank you. I guess it's time for a story, isn't it? You'll be the storyteller. Mm -hmm. I'll be the tree. <laughs> I like all the leaves on you. And here we go. Dancing Leaves by R. Chandran. The leaves were hanging to the branch of a tall tree. They were taking a nap. It was late afternoon and the day was sunny and stuffy. But a cool breeze was blowing gently. Hey, I know, shall we hold our hands up in front of our faces and give a very gentle blow, like gentle breeze? Let's do that. Hands in front of the face and blow very gently. Can you feel your gentle breeze? I'm blowing this way because the tree is here. Very good. Shall we try a stronger breeze? So this time, let's just blow it a little bit stronger, okay? One, two, three. Here we go. Wow, let's do that one more time. See the trees and the leaves are moving. Very good. Let's do that again. It's so much fun. That was great. I know. Let's blow it even harder. Let's give it a huge strong blow so it becomes a gale, shall we? Let's, I'm going to put my hands in front of my face so that I can feel my strong wind, the strongest wind you can ever blow. And one, two, three, go. That is amazing, everybody. Shall we blow again and make the tree move and let the leaves shake even more? One, two, three, go. That was fun. Let's try that one more time. Strong gale, everybody. Good job. Now let's return to the gentle breeze, blowing very, very gently. This gentle breeze was so soothing that it even played a pleasant tune. Wow. This is so peaceful that I feel like sleeping and humming along. Shall we all do that together? Okay, now we're all going to blow very gently like a gentle breeze and lay our faces against our hands just like this, okay? And remember to blow gently. Are we ready? Let's do that together. Here we go. Wake up! Oh my goodness! A deep, loud voice called out to the other leaves. All the leaves, except one, sprang awake with their eyes wide open. However, one leaf continued napping. Nip was that one leaf. Wake up! screamed the loud voice. Nip opened his eyes slowly as he wondered where he was. Let's try something. Let's all be Nip, waking up really slowly. And here's how we're going to do it. I'll show you first and you can follow me later, okay? So, at the count of five, I'm going to slowly open my eyes like this. Watch me first. One, two, three, four, and five. And try to open your eyes as wide as you can. I'm gonna come closer so you can see how wide my eyes are. Okay, so at the count of five, we're gonna open our eyes as wide as we can. Are we ready? Everybody close your eyes. And remember, no peeking until I start counting. I think some of them are peeking. Oh, oh, can you really all keep your eyes shut? 
good that's it i'm gonna try to open it slowly 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 here we go and closing your eyes one two three four and five can you open your eyes as wide as wide as possible very good because that's what nip did when he was shouted at and everybody let's give a stretch and a yawn oh let's do it one more time over at the other side oh pretending to be nip waking up one more little time That's what Nip did. He just had a most pleasant dream and he was smiling. It's time to start work. The sun will set soon and we must make food for the plant. Can't we do something else? <clears throat> Nip asked politely. All the other leaves were taken aback by this question. A question that had never been asked before. What? The chief leaf was unhappy with this interruption. That's all we do, make food. It's our job to make food for the plant. The chief leaf interrupted Nip mid-sentence. After which, all the other leaves continued, using sunshine, carbon dioxide from the air, and water sucked up from the ground by the roots. Nip had heard these words many times before, so he sighed. <sighs> it was his longest sigh for the day. What's your longest sigh? Shall we all try and sigh together? It's really good to get some breath into your body, you know. Okay, let's try this. Take a nice deep breath in and give a nice long sigh. Ah. Is it just in the chest or all the way down to the tummy? Oh, breathe that's a good one. one. Okay. I think you need to breathe it in all the way to the tummy. You can give your tummy a little pat if you want, just to remind yourself. <laughs> Take a nice deep breath in. All the way down to your tummy and give a long sigh out. Ah. Let's do it one more time. Take a nice deep breath in all the way down to your tummy and a nice long sigh. Ah. It's good to have a big tummy. Oh, yes, indeed. That was a good job, everybody. Since he couldn't think of what else leaves could do, he joined the others to make food for the plant, which happened to be a tall tree. However, Nip's mind was working hard. And that night, instead of resting, he was busy trying to imagine the things leaves could do. Play on the swing. <laughs> and make sand castles. Kick a ball. Play badminton. Paint a picture. This went on for some time. Days spent making food for the tree and nights thinking of what else to do. Go to a movie. <gasps> Travel around the world. You know what? I think we can help Nip. Do you have any suggestions? What can leaves do other than make food for the tree? Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I think someone just said dance. Mm -hmm. Dancing leaves. That sounds like a good suggestion to me. Yeah. Yeah. How about dancing? Hmm. Nip agreed with that idea. He had some trouble convincing his friends, though, that dancing was something leaves can enjoy doing. Come on, leaves, give it a try. I have another idea. What if we gave the leaves a tune that they can dance to? And, and even better, we can even teach them a few simple dance steps, like we did earlier. Hmm. You know what? We have our friends Kaysu and Sweelin to create a tune like the gentle breeze. Oh, a dancing uh, song. Do you have a good tune? Yeah. 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 yeah, but first That's I need my great. ukulele back, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, there it is. Yeah. 
Okay, so now the dancing song is the same song that you heard before. Oh. Yes, but slightly different, okay? I tell you what, we do it the same way, okay? Yeah. I will follow him and you guys follow me. Okay, here we go. And up, and up, and down, and down, and down, and down, and down, and down, and up, and up, and all around, and all around. Again, okay? And up, and up, and down, and down, and down, and down. Dancing song. We hope that works for you. Wow, that was really nice. Such a lovely tune. And that really gave me some ideas for some simple dance moves. You know what? I think all of you should join in in the little dance that I'm going to teach you so that the leaves won't feel so shy when, they ask us, when we ask them to join us. Right, leaves? Will you dance if everybody joins in? Yes? Oh, that's great then. Okay, so here are the dance steps. All you need to do is bring your hands above your head like this and up and down. Hands to the other side, shoulder level, not that down because we've got two more downs to go. And down, chest level over to the other side. And down, really down, so at waist level. And up. Goes up again, hands above heads, and all around. Got that? Shall we try that again? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here we go. And up, and down, and down, and down, and up. And all around. That was really nice. Let's just do it one more time, okay? I think you're doing a great job, guys, and you too. Okay, here we go. And up, and down, and down, and down, and up. And all around. Very good. Let's try that even faster. One, two, three, go. And up and down and down and down and up and all around. Let's do that even faster. And up and down and down and down and up and all around and up and down and down and down and up and all around good job everybody so later on when all the leaves are dancing we're all gonna dance together great job everybody you too should we go back to the story yes we should <laughs> one evening just before sunset some leaves led by Nip broke into a joyous dance. The next evening, more leaves joined in. And by the week's end, all the leaves in the tree were dancing, including Chief Leaf. One, two, three. And up and down and down and down and up. And down and down and down and 
they had made enough food for the tree before dancing. Word soon spread. More and more people came to watch the dancing leaves. They took photos, videos, and posted it on social media. The tree became a huge attraction. And fortunately so. Because some months later, Workers came to chop down the trees in the neighborhood. This was to build shops and houses in that plot of land. But Nip's tree was saved because the people in the town stood up to protect the dancing leaves. That's another story for another day. As far as we know, the dancing leaves are happily expressing their joy thanks to the music and steps you all help to create. Shall we all do the dance one more time? One, two, three. And up and down and down and down and up and all around. Okay. And up and down and down and down and up and all around and up and down and down and down and up and all around well done everybody the end welcome back to our craft session what do you notice on this board here mm -hmm. i have two leaves and what do you notice about these two leaves yeah, absolutely. They both have different shapes. See, this one is nice and long and almost oval shaped with a tip at the end. And this one, well, can you see like an upside down heart shape? That's what it looks like to me. Guess where I got these two leaves from? I got them from our park downstairs. And nope, I didn't pluck them off the trees. I found them on the ground, so they actually uh, dropped off the plant or the tree. This one came from a tree, actually. And this one over here is a plant that we have right outside our balcony. And I'm really, really happy with this particular plant because I've been taking care of it by watering it and giving it some sun and it's growing really well. You know, plants and trees need our loving care. They need water and they need sunlight. And they're really important for our environment too. Anyway, back to this plant that I've been growing in our balcony. I think it's really special because if you look closely, there are actually pink veins. Do you know what veins are? Well, if you look closely at any leaf, I'll bring one up here and show it to you. If you look closely at any leaf, there's the, these lines that you can find inside the leaf itself. There are scientific names for it, but for the purpose of simplicity, we call them veins. And do you know what they do for the plant? They actually help to carry water and nutrients or food from the roots all the way up to the rest of the plant, to the leaves, in other words. So they have a very important function. Okay, let's get to the craft bit. If it's a good idea, well, I have a whiteboard here so you can see what I'm doing, but you can grab a piece of paper and I've got a green marker here. You can use a color pencil or a pencil. So what you do is maybe just pick a leaf of your favorite shape and 
put it on the piece of paper. What I did here was to tape it down so it's easier for you to trace the shape. So I'm going to hold it down. Well, if you don't have any tape, you can hold it down with your hands. Or if it keeps moving, you might just want to tape it down. So you take your marker, in my case, or for your case, you can use a color pencil or a pencil, and just gently follow the outside of the leaf. And any bit of the leaf that pops up, just gently press it down with your finger. It doesn't need to be perfect. But it's a nice way to just appreciate the leaf, the shape of the leaf, and what it really looks like. I love doing this. There we go. I've got the outline done. Ooh, let's do the same one for this one too. So in the same way, I'm going to just trace the outside of the leaf. all the way down and comes up again and the step is pretty thin but I'm just going to follow it like this. There we go. And I'll remove the leaves now so you can see what we've got. Right over here. See? Now you can see how different the shapes of the leaves are. Like I said, this is like an upside down heart shape. And we can put some finishing touches on the leaf. What do I mean by that? Well, we can really take the leaf and look at it closely. What do we see? Once again, we see the veins, right? So let's try and do that. This thicker one here runs the, down the middle of the leaf. So we'll do this one first. We'll try to draw a line down the middle of the like this and then it's got thinner ones that come out like this they're kind of curved so I'm going to try and follow it by looking and just try to follow the line like this and you can even finish it off by coloring it I won't do it here, but you can definitely do it in your own time. There we have it. And this one here, let's have a look, a closer look at this leaf and see how the veins go. Well, for this particular leaf, the veins are much lighter and it follows the in the shape of the leaf. It's got another line coming down the middle and thinner ones that shoot out like this. So, now that I've got an idea, I'm going to look at it closely. So it's got a line that follows the shape of the leaf, like this. And then it's got the vein going down the middle, like this one. And it's got lines that And I have the other leaf. And for the one with the pink veins, the one right over there that I've been growing in my balcony, I drew one like this. I've got it here. And I'll tell you how I did this. So I'll bring it up closer so you can have a good look at it. I used a marker to do the outline like this. So this was a tracing I was just looking at the leaf and trying to follow the shape and then I colored it in with a color pencil I colored it and then I used a marker again to do the pink veins like this and the reason for that is because if you use a marker together with a marker you probably can't see the pink one so I, I thought just to play it safe, I used the color pencil to color it in and then use the pink marker to draw the veins. And there you have it, leaves with different shapes. I hope you enjoyed this craft time and it'll be really fun if you just go out to your own.
own garden or to a park and just notice all the leaves with their different shades of green and their different shapes as well. It was really nice spending some time with you. Bye!